here to show my support for Trustee Weaver. I don't usually attend these meetings because we left the school district three years ago when it became apparent that RCS's priorities and standards did not meet our expectations. I have watched the bullying of Trustee Weaver for being transparent and have watched the displays of hypocrisy and unethical behavior by five of the seven board members. There is one set of standards for those who called parents employers and another for someone who posted redacted pics of children on social media. In, 2000, uh, in November of 2022, a RCS parent and chaperone posted pics of students playing on poles at Nikki's Lounge during their field trip. I waited almost two months before I posted those publicly on my Facebook page. It went viral with over 900 comments and over 700 shares. The investigation noted that I posted this after Trustee Weaver. This was incorrect. I wonder what else was incorrect. <laughs> While I do empathize with the administrators who received threatening phone calls, none of that warrants this complaint against Trustee Weaver. This is nothing more than an attempt to publicly shame and humiliate him. The leaders in this district should have contacted the parents after the field trip, blaming trust Trustee Weaver for showing redacted photos is loony. Even a parent spoke tonight with a child on the field trip and she didn't agree with his censure. Those in support of the censure should be ashamed of themselves. If only you focus this much on education, then you do on targeting those who disagree with you. I'm still waiting to hear exactly what Trustee Weaver posted that was untrue. Thank you, Trustee Weaver, for not covering up for any wrongdoing when parent concerns were ignored after this field trip. Thank you for doing what you were elected to do defending accountability and transparency. Stop bullying Trustee Weaver and start focusing on education.